Welcome to the Telogen IP training series. My name is Seth, and today we're going to be talking about the Polycom CCX series phones for Teams. What you're looking here, looking at here, is a CCX 500. This is a Polycom's device that is specifically certified for use inside of Teams. You can see up here in the top right hand corner, you've got the Teams icon. Right next to that, you've got my avatar and my phone number from Teams. You've got next to that, the time and date. Just below there, you've got notifications. And then on this home screen, you've got calls, people, calendar, and voicemail. These two buttons here, the plus and the minus, allow for volume control. You can see if I push plus, my ringer goes up. If I push minus, my ringer comes down. We also have the headset button here just below that. That headset button allows us to be able to use a headset with the USB ports on the side. And just below that, we've got the speakerphone button, which we can turn on and off with this button. They're not actually buttons. They're just part of the touch screen. So bear in mind, they're not going to give you tactile feedback. So just a little bit of information on the interface to this. If I want to see my calls and my history, I can tap on that calls button. You can see here if I have favorites and speed dial that I've set up inside the web GUI, I've got that here. This is a giant touch screen that I can scroll up and down on. And if I'd like to make a phone call, I just tap on one of those buttons. Also next to the favorites, I've got my recents tab. These are all the inbound and outbound calls that have happened. I can scroll up and down, and if I want to call one of these people back, I just tap that button. Here on this page, you'll notice here at the top, the phone with the P next to it. That is to call pickup. So if I've got a call that I need to pick up, I tap that button. It gives me this, this pop-up. If I tap inside for enter code, you can see it pops up a, a keypad for me to dial into. I can dial in a code, click OK, and if there's a phone call there, it will allow me to grab that call. We also have, in the bottom right-hand corner, your calendar. So if I tap here on calendar, you can see my calendar and everything that I've got going on here. Anything that is a Teams meeting has a Join button on it, and I can tap on it to join. I'm going to tap on this one here. This is a Teams sales huddle. You can see I can join it there. If it's part of a Teams channel, it shows that channel here. If I scroll further down, it also shows the other people who have been invited. I can see the series, and if I own it, I can cancel that series as well, or cancel that occurrence directly from here. I can also edit it with this edit button, and again, the three dots, like anywhere inside of Teams, allows me more information. If I tap on the home icon, bottom left, it takes me back out to that home screen. From here, if I tap on calendar, it takes me back to that calendar tab that you were, we were just looking at. We'll go back out to home. If I tap on voicemail, it takes me to my voicemails. Again, these are the same voicemails that I have in all of those locations. If I tap on, say, the bottom one, I can listen to it there. I can change the speed at which I'm listening to it here at the top. I can erase it. I can add a contact. I can call that person back if I know that number. This one's unavailable, so neither of those are options. And I can turn on and off the speakerphone option there. I also have the ability to tap on my name up here in the top right hand corner, excuse me, my picture, and you can see there's more information here. It shows me who I am, shows me my status, allows me to set a status message, I can manage my devices, um, and then if I'm part of other organizations, I have that down here at the bottom as well. If I tap on settings, you'll see I get these other options here. For more information on these options, please let us know and we'll make a video for you. But again, full touch screen, I can scroll down, scroll up. Most of the information that's done here in settings can be changed inside of the Teams admin portal, so we don't spend a lot of time in here very often. To make an outbound call is pretty easy. All I do is pick up the handset here, shows me a dial pad, type in that number that I'm calling, hit call. And you'll see it initiates that outbound call. Once that call connects, I will get more options here. So you'll see here, I'm now here inside of this call. It shows the number that I called at the top and a counter. 
If I want to add more people to this call, I can tap on this Add People button. I've got a Mute button here, Speaker Phone button, Dial Pad. So if I tap on that Dial Pad, if I need to add DTMF tones for whatever reason, the arrow at the top gives you the back. And again, those three dots give you the ability to have more options. So I'm going to put this call on hold real quick. You can see here, shows that it's on hold, gives me a resume button, the ability to be able to reconnect that call. If I tap on resume, gives me that call back. From those three dots, I can also transfer this call. If I tap transfer here, I can transfer now or I can consult first. So transfer now would be a cold transfer. I'm going to tap transfer now. It asks me to search for the person that I'm looking for that I want to transfer it to, so I can pick anyone internally. So if I wanted to transfer this to Kipling, pick her name from that list. You can see it says transferring to Kipling. And as soon as that transfer is completed, she'll pick up that call and this will go away from me. If she doesn't pick that call back, pick that call up, it can ring back to me and so that I can then transfer that to someone else. Again, you've got a hang up button here if you need that, or you've got the back arrow here where you can come back to the home screen. It still shows that call that's on hold there at the top that was transferring over to Kipling. It's now gone because Kipling received that call and is dealing with it. So from an inbound call, you'll see here shows up just like any other call would. You can hear it ringing. It shows where it's coming from, showing it's coming from me. If I tap accept, then it actually, you'll see the green light for the speakerphone comes on and I am now on speakerphone. If I pick up the handset, takes it off speakerphone and allows me to deal with it on this device. If I want to go back to speakerphone, simply tap on that speakerphone button, hang it up. I'm now back on speakerphone. If I wanted to go to a headset, if I had one plugged in, I could tap on that headset button. And with that headset button, it would push the audio across to that headset. I'm going to show this one now with a consult first, or excuse me, a park. Let's do a park. So call park. You can see it parking this call. It says call is parked and shows it's parked in location 12. So I can then IM someone and let them know that it's, it's parked in location 12. Or I myself can go grab this call from parked location 12. To do that, I tap on calls. In the top right-hand corner, you'll see that handset with the P. Tap on that. Shows me pick up parked call, enter code. I'm going to tap in 12, 1, 2, hit OK. It then connects that call back to me, and I am now reconnected with that call. So you could park that call and have someone else pick it up, or you yourself could pick that call up. Last one we'll talk about is call transfer with a consult. So if I tap consult first, this is going to be consulting with someone locally. So I, again, I'm going to pick Kipling. You'll see it initiates a phone call to Kipling, allows me to be able to chat with her. Once she and I have this conversation, I can then send that call over to her and complete that transfer. Or if she doesn't answer and I hit the hang up button because she doesn't answer, you can see that call is still held. Top, top middle there says tap to return to call. I can then reconnect that call here, resume, and try transferring it to someone else. That is the control of calls inside of the CCX series phones. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, leave us a comment below, and we'll get back with you as soon as we can.